First at 11, the beginning of the end of virtual classrooms in South Florida. Both Miami-Dade and Broward County schools now expect everyone back in August. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. I'm Lauren Pastrana. 100% in-person learning. Tonight, that is the goal and the expectation of both superintendents. Yet there's still a ton of work to do to finish this school year safely and prepare for the fall. CBS 4's Keith Jones has our top story at 11. Friend, well, talking to people like, yeah. Being social. Yeah. Eighth grader Linnea Bush misses certain aspects of being in the classroom, but like some of her family and friends, feels safer going to school online from home. I do miss school, but it's not like the worth the risk of going back because you don't know who who's sick and who's not sick. When the fall semester begins in August, distance learning is no longer an option. All students will be back in the classroom. Broward and Miami-Dade superintendents made respective announcements at Tuesday's school board meetings. Broward County Public Schools will open the 2021-22 school year uh, with 100% in-person traditional face-to-face -face instruction at all schools this fall. It is our plan as a school system uh, to welcome back 100% of all of our students across all grade levels, that's pre-K through 12, for the 21-22 school year. The Broward Teachers Union has butted heads with the district over the past year about the safety of teachers and students amid this pandemic. The district's got a group, VTU's got a group, and they're level-headed, open-minded, and solution-oriented to make sure that we work towards keeping everybody safe, healthy, and you know, so we're not combating anymore. We Union President Ana Fusco says most of the district staffing has already been vaccinated. The district has followed all CDC guidelines for in-class learning this year. What that'll look like next year is unclear. As long as we make sure that we keep all the precautions and hearing, you know, that um, the vaccine is even going to be offered down to as young as 13 year olds, that's a big plus. Superintendent Runcie gave his reasons for pushing to return to the classroom. Too many students falling behind. But if you ask these young students, they weren't presented challenges at home. In fact, their grades show it. I really feel comfortable at home. I'm making good grades, so why should I go back to school? How have your grades been going from home? Good. Better than it was in school. Both districts have followed CDC guidelines for in-school learning this year. That means washing hands, wearing masks, social distancing, separating desks, also sanitizing the schools. If those guidelines change for next fall, both districts say they will follow the amended versions. At the Broward County School Board, Keith Jones, CBS 4 News tonight.